look around me. You can hear the noise, you can feel the excitement, the colours, the different cultures. This is that Women's World Cup energy. I'm in Sydney, Australia's biggest city, for the group game between Colombia and South Korea. Come with me and let's find out what fans think of it. How does it feel to have Australia as one of the host nations of this World Cup? Um, it's exciting because we get to go to all of the games and um, I hope Australia win. I feel really proud because, because this is my country and I was born here and like the World Cup is in Sydney. Well it's a good thing that the games aren't too far away whereas um, for example when the World Cup was hosted in Qatar um, I could only watch it on the TV, whereas now I can see it in person. Has it made you want to become a football player? Yeah, because it makes me feel like to like never give up and to try your best. But it hasn't always been like this for women's football. In the past, it struggled to get attention. Historically, female players have been paid less than male players. And in 2014, the men's World Cup prize money was $35 million. And for the women's in 2015, it was only two million. And many players and supporters think that the people who run football need to do more. I've come to meet Karen Bartley, who played for England between 2005 and 2022. The Lionesses are a perfect example of like the type of role models we need in women's sport that are willing to fight with, for what they believe in and for you know, the future of the game give kids the opportunity to play if they want to. And then what happens next is that you're gonna need places to play. So then the infrastructure piece comes in, the facilities. And then what happens after that, you need coaches, you need volunteers, you need referees. So it's building all this stuff around that as well. And continuing to integrate that into education and changing the perception of women's sport and culture in England. I asked England defender Alex Greenwood what change she thinks needs to happen in the women's game for the next generation to flourish. Change, I think the change already happening. I think we, we made that change la last summer for more opportunity in schools and that's where it starts at a young age. I think um, I still have regular contact with my school now back at home and uh, the most important thing for us as a squad and is for young girls and boys to have opportunity um, and I think we're getting there. Well, this Women's World Cup has broken records and has come a long way but it's clear that there's still more work that needs to be done.